great. So, I want to do like a little response video to uh, the Geordie Biker. And this is the video he put up the other day. And it's nothing against him whatsoever. Actually, I'm agreeing with him completely. That's why I'm on this, my little grom right now. So, if you don't know already, I've passed my, my test so I can get a bigger bike. I'm on my A2. And at the time I'm recording this, I've actually got my bike and I've been on it for a good week, I think. Yeah, yeah, would have been a week. A week today, actually. And I've been loving it. And since I've had it, I haven't been back in the grom until now. And it feels so weird. I feel like my hands are so far apart now. Uh, I feel like the bars are massive. If you haven't checked out the video, the link's down in the description, you can go watch it. But basically, the title of it was 125s of a pussy. And he goes on about saying why he got a Grom, even though he can, can have any bike he wants, any CC. So why the hell did he get a 125? So yeah, I thought I'd reply because I've never really made a video of just 125 bikes really. Why am I stopped? So yeah, I thought this would be a perfect time now that I've, I've got my new bike. And it is a lot faster than this. Why have I kept my 125? And why I will keep this Grom for uh, the next year? Why have I done that? Well, the answer is simple. And this is one of the things he put in his, uh, the, the jewelry bike put in his video. And that's this. It can't make more, 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 more sense. It doesn't make more sense than that. I can't wait to show you my uh, my new bike, but this thing sounds so awesome compared to it at the moment. <laughs> Until I put uh, a new exhaust on my new bike. <laughs> Secrets. I've never noticed a stream down there. I want to go up and look at that. So yeah, why 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 keep a 125? In America, yes, it may be a bit big, a bit different because you can have any CC bike you want really. But in the UK. Starting at 16, you have to have a 50cc, 17 on a 125. Now that I have passed the test and I can have a bigger bike, why keep a 125? Well, exactly that, you can have so much fun going fast on one of these. You feel like a fucking MotoGP racer, you're like fucking revving it to its balls and just, which I'm about to do through here, just have mad fun on it. They're cheap, they're so cheap. They're inexpensive compared to bigger bikes. If I drop that, meh, who cares? It's got crash protection on them, whatever. You can have so much fun with these things. It's unbelievable. And really, it's just about kind of appreciating the power of one of these. I've just got, literally, just got off my, my new bike, got onto this, and I was like, oh, okay, I'm not putting off very fast. Oh, that's weird. But it's still, I can still have massively amount of fun going here. It will do UK roads easily, right? All this national speed limit is 60. This can do 60 easily. I've actually hit it at 70 going along a dual carriageway, so it will do 70. Yeah, it might not do overtaking speeds, but overtaking on this thing, you don't really want to anyway. Maybe on bigger 125s, my Duke did um, did 70 easily and had a little bit of overtaking speed at 70. So it's really not a big deal. Please crash. No, oh, would have been a good fun though. <laughs> uh, kind of. What are you looking for? Um, no, sorry, sorry, I don't know. No, sorry about that. No worries. Traffic center? No, that's the second time someone asked me where something is while I'm here. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Going through country roads and stuff on a 1,000cc bike, it's gonna be fun, but you're only using, what, a tenth of its power? Like this, I'm using all of its power all the time. Like, I'm revving the shit out of this thing, trying to do 60, and it feels so much more fun on this thing. Yeah, it's fun putting away and flying really quickly, but, well, that's not a very nice session. It died. Oh, I was using you. Sad times. Anyway, let's go have some fun. And it's fun just making a hell of a noise. I'm not going very fast either. <laughs> See, I'm, look, my, I'm on full throttle right now. Pinning this thing. And it's just so much fun. I could be on my new bike going through this. I'd be scared the whole time because it's a lot more expensive and I'd be doing well over the UK speeds or I could be bombing on this doing 60 just like getting 
spin in it. It's so much more fun. Bumps. Wow. So yeah, I totally agree with the Geordie Biker in this video. Please go check it out, guys. Undo fives are just so much fun. Would help if these roads weren't as muddy as they are. Come on, Gary! <laughs> They're just so much fun. So that's why I'm keeping a 125, just because they are so much fun. Oh, I'm gonna get money. You still might say 125s are so pussies. Skipping the past the, the learner thing that you know you gotta have them. For people that have bigger bikes like me and and keep to 125s and ride around on 125s. You think I'm like scared of power? Not at all. You fly around, yeah you're not gonna overtake fucking bike thousand cc bikes and six hundreds and whatnot. But they they only use so much of their power. Yeah it's fun going in a straight line on one thing. That's why I've got both a big bike and a little bike. But just nipping through lanes like this. Oh little one in five making a fat ton of noise. So that's why I'm keeping my grom. Because one two fives are so much fun. Just so you can see, I'm doing 50 right now and I'm going uphill. <laughs> so it's, it's not super slow. Biker puts it in the wood. Oh, skidding. See, I shit myself on my bigger bike. What on this? <laughs> nope, <laughs> that's fun. <laughs> yeah, the Jordan Biker puts it a little bit better than I can. So go check out his video. But anyway, guys, I shall see you in the next one. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. 